I came to the hospital for sick children to, to complete my PhD studies. And the reason I came here was uh, at the time it was really the place studying human genetic diseases. And there were new technologies being developed at that time, which we now kind of laugh at because they're so antiquated. But at the time, they were the, the lead site in the world for identifying disease genes. In the early 2000s, we were working on several different projects where, where we were looking very closely at the DNA sequence of different individuals in the population and comparing them. And we started to get a hint that, in fact, there seemed to be large changes of copy numbers of the DNA or the genes that we were looking at. And we could find, in fact, that uh, each of us carry hundreds of these copy number variants. It's something we, we didn't think could occur at such a high frequency. Uh, and that's why we didn't discover for a long time. People just didn't know how to look for it. We knew of the importance of discovery because, in fact, you know, I, this is really what I trained my entire career for. All of the different aspects of the work came out of parts of my training in the past. So I knew of the importance of this, but I had no idea how quickly it would be taken up by the community. In the long term, we, we foresee a time when individuals' DNA will be scanned to generate the gene copy number variation that would um, be used in, in administering particular dosage and, and specific drugs, for example. Uh, and in fact, most pharmaceutical companies are now using this information in populations to test new drugs.